In this video, I want to derive the Legendre duplication formula. The Legendre duplication formula says this. It says that gamma of z times gamma of z plus one half, one half. This is equal to two to the one minus two z times root pi gamma of two z. So this is a nice way of relating uh, the gamma function, or, or, or rather a product of gamma functions, to just an ordinary gamma function, and here a gamma function of 2z, uh, hence, hence duplication. Okay, uh, so how do we actually prove this is true? Well, uh, it turns out that this, uh, this is the same as, uh, this, is the, this is the exact same as showing that the beta function has this property, that the beta function has the property that beta of one half and z is equal to two to the two z minus one beta of z comma z. So these two properties end up being equivalent. And this is in part why we love the beta function because you know simple simple beta function properties like this give us really neat gamma function properties such, such as this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, first try and prove this beta function property and then go back through, use what we know about the beta function and the gamma function, and then quickly show that uh, this corresponds to the Legendre duplication formula. Um, but the first step, of course, is to uh, remind ourselves a little bit about the beta function. So the beta function, we'll recall, is this. The beta function of x and y is equal to an integral from 0 to 1, uh, t to the x minus 1 times one minus t raised to the y minus one uh, dt. And this whole thing right here we were able to show was equal to a gamma of x, gamma of y, all over gamma of x plus y. Okay, um, but I'll be working mostly with the integral here. Uh, so let's get started. So let's start with, uh, with this left-hand side here and try and show that this is equal to uh, this right-hand term. So uh, let's get started with that. So beta, of one half z, that's going to be equal to integral zero to one, uh, t to the minus one half, right? So one half minus one is minus one half, times one minus t raised to the z minus one dt. Okay, uh, this is just the definition, uh, but now let's use the change of variables. And so the change of variables that I'm going to use is uh, and I'll use a different color for this, is u equal to root t. And, and the idea here is just that we have a root t or a 1 over root t out in front, and that's that's kind of annoying. Uh, so it would be great to get rid of that. So I'm going to try uh, this change of variables. So we have uh, u equals root t and du. du equal, equals what? Well, it's going to equal to 1 half over root t. Uh, dt, and and as we know, uh, root t is equal to u, and so and so, and so dt is equal to two u du. Okay, well, let's let's sub that in and see what happens. So when we put that in here, uh, our bounds of integration don't change, which is nice. But what we have is this: we have that uh, this guy right here. Our one minus t becomes one minus u squared. One minus u squared, still raised to the z minus one, and then our dt. Well, what's our dt equal to? Our dt is equal to two times root t, but we have a one over root t right here. And so because of that, our integral just becomes this. Integral zero to one, two times uh, this, this quantity right here. And if we want to, what we can do is, uh, we can note that this integral is even with respect to u, right? Because it's only, it's only a function of u squared. And so because of that, we can drop this two and just let the, uh, uh, let the integral be over an even even bound. Um, so that can get rid of the two. Uh, the other thing we can do is we can factor this, factor this one minus u squared like this. We can write it as one minus u times one plus u. That's just one minus u squared factored. And then both of these have to be raised to the z minus one. Z minus one. Okay, uh, that's all good. And this is, so this is starting to look a little bit like um, like our beta function of z comma z, right? Because we have z minus one up here, z minus one right there. Um, but it's a little bit off, right? Because we have one minus u, one plus u, but really we want something that looks like just t and then one minus t. 
And so in order to fix that, I'm going to use another change of variables. And the change of variables that I'm going to use this time are is this. I'm going to say, let's let u, u be equal to 2x minus 1. And so du is equal to uh, 2dx. So what happens when we use this change of variables? Uh, well, the first thing, first thing that we need to think about uh, is our bounds of integration. So what's happening to our bounds of integration? Uh, well, one thing is that uh, we're going from minus 1 to 1, so that's going to correspond to x equaling 0 and 1. So our bounds of integration become 0 to 1. That's good for our beta function. And then what happens with these two factors right here? Well, 1 minus u, that's going to be equal to uh, 2, 2 minus 2x to the z minus 1. And then 1 plus u, that's just going to be equal to 2x raised to the z minus 1 um, with an extra factor of 2 and a dx. Okay, good. Next, we can pull out a factor of 2 from, from, from everywhere here, right? We have a 2 out here. We can pull out a 2 to the z minus 1 here and here. And so what this comes equal to is uh, 2 to the 2z minus 1, integral 0 to 1. Then we have x to the z minus 1 times 1 minus x to the z minus 1 dx. Okay, great. And now we've got it, right? Because this integral right here is exactly our definition for the beta function with, uh, with both of its arguments being equal to z. So this whole thing right here is 2 to the 2z minus 1 times beta of z comma z. And so we've, we've, we've done it. We've proven that this property right here is true. The last thing to do is just to show that uh, this, this property returns the Legendre duplication formula when we plug in gamma functions. And so now let's do that. So um, this left-hand side, what, what happens when we plug in uh, gamma functions? So we get gamma of 1 half times gamma of z divided by gamma of 1 half plus z. That's our left-hand side. Our right-hand side is 2 to the 2z minus 1 times, and we have gamma of z, gamma of z over gamma of 2z. And we can see immediately we have uh, gamma functions canceling here. Um, this gamma of 1 half is also known as root pi. And then, and then we're all set. This whole thing right here becomes... Uh, we can multiply over this uh, gamma time a uh, gamma of two z. So what do we have on the left hand side? We have uh, gamma of one half. That's root pi. Um, we can divide over this two. Um, what do we get? We get two times or two to the one minus two z. Multiply over this gamma. We get gamma of two z. And then this whole thing's equal to. What do we have left? We have gamma of z. And then multiply this guy over gamma of uh, z plus 1 half. And so we've done it. By proving this beta function property up here, which I will which I will box, by proving this property right here, we immediately got out the Legendre duplication formula.